Today we have a BMW uh, instrument cluster. Uh, this is from the early 2000s. The year range for this one is typically about 1998 to 2005, depending on what uh, series or trim model you have. What we primarily do on this cluster is pixel repair. And basically over time, the pixels have become more deteriorated to the point where nothing is uh, legible. So let me just turn it on for you. As, I, as you can see up close, most of the pixels are missing. For this particular instrument cluster, we primarily fix the pixel displays. We replace it with a new LCD. And we also put in uh, new backlighting for it, so pretty much it'll last for the life of the repair. Um, this would work for BMW E38 7 Series, the BMW E53 Platform X5 and also the much loved E39 5 Series. That's any trim model um, ranging from 528 all the way up to the M5. Um, the M5 might have a gray faceplate depending what year your M5 was produced. So I'm gonna do a quick test here. And what you do is you hold the right button after you've powered it on, and then you press it one more time, and then press the left button. And now you can see it's going through a self-test. It's sweeping all the gauges. Uh, this is very important to do because a lot of people that try to replace the LCDs themselves destroy the gauges. These gauges are actually coil wound and any pressure vertically will pretty much destroy them. We don't repair the gauges on this cluster. So if you have gauge issues, don't send it in to us because the, each gauge can cost $50 and upwards for these. And when somebody tampers with them, it can ca cause a nightmare, especially if they just wanted to replace the bottom LCD. These gauges typically don't fail ever unless they were tampered with. So if you're gonna replace this LCD yourself, just be very careful at the faceplate and the circuit board don't separate because it'll create a stretch vertically on the coil on motors and we test for all the gauges to make sure that they're working properly that they're fully cycling up and down they should rotate by themselves back down to zero but what we're going to do is we're going to do this repair and after we're going to show you what the pixels look like when they've been restored 